Hey guys, Luke here, and we are back for round 14 of the Newcastle Knights crew mode on Roby League Live 4. Now, in the previous episodes, I've been talking a lot about how, you know, we're so close to hitting the top four. This time, we can actually hit the top four. We're taking on the Melbourne Storm. They're in fourth spot. If we beat them, we overtake them, and we jump into fourth spot. I'm very excited. I'm expecting a big win here, although because I'm so confident we'll probably lose. Now, this was actually a few weeks ago, and originally, I was thinking that Origin players weren't playing, but... They were. Both teams are full strength, apart from David Klammer, who's out with an injury. So, Kalen Ponga comes back into the side. Mason Leno drops out. So, I've got the game loaded up on Rugby League Live 4. You can see here, difficulty, still veteran, half lengths, nine minutes. Let's go, boys. So, here we go. Melbourne Storm take it on the Knights. You can see the Storm logo. A little bit iffy there, but here is our lineup. Just like I said, it's pretty much the same as last week. Apart from David Klemmer, he's still out, and uh, Daniel Safidi retains his spot. But Kalen Ponga jumps back in, so we're just going from strength to strength. I keep forgetting that Danny Levi actually gets injured around this time, so I probably should take him out, but I'm just not going to. I can't be bothered. You can see the Storm team here. Jerome Hughes at fullback. Uh, Poppenhausen, I put him on the bench. He was on the bench at this point. I don't know what his rating is in this game. I'm assuming probably not that great, but I decided to throw him in there anyways. But yeah, the Storm team, it is a pretty formidable lineup. So we're playing in Melbourne, Amy Stadium, Cameron Smith gets us underway. Come on, a top four clash here. Well, not technically, we're not in the top four, but we've will be after this game, hopefully. Oh, what a run, Tim Glasby. Fitzgibbon through the gap. Fitzgibbon. Okay, he's been really good for us. Okay, they want us to kick with Ponga. That's not going to happen. Mitchell Pierce going to be the one. All right, come on. Make the tackle, lads. Make the tackle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. I finally figured out how to sort of hold off and not get suckered in and not let the computer take over, and it's working out okay. Oh, no. I was right there, too. And I was looking to make the tackle. It just wouldn't let me. Thankfully, Sony Mitadia wraps up Cameron Smith there. Just jump out with Ponga here. Oh, there we go. Make the tackle. Caelan Ponga and Nostoffa Solo Mona. Probably won't see that happen in real life, but I'll take it. Oh, Kenny Dow. Kenny Dow, get around, Hughes. Okay. All right, the ankle tap didn't quite work, but it slowed him down. Damn, I thought Kenny Dow was gone. Oh, no. No. Okay, thank you. For Navalu. I thought he was gone. Why is so loopy? We're only about 10 minutes into the game and I can already feel like things aren't going to plan. I really should have played a practice game. 100% I should have. All right, come on, Jesse. Get it, Jesse. Okay, tackle him. Okay, there you go. Oh, no. Why would you pass? Oh, my God. You literally had Jesse Ramey in there. Why did it automatically go for a cutout pass? Okay, let's kick with Pierce. Early kick. I don't know if that's a good move or not, but we'll take it. Whatever. We'll do what we have to do. Go out. 40. Oh, my God. Jerome Hughes has absolutely butchered it. I don't know if that was going to be a 40 20 or not. I can't remember, but whatever. We get the ball back. Okay, ideally, we want Kalen Ponga with the ball here. Going to hit Connor Watson first. Out the back to. Oh, no, not out the back. Why the hell did it not go out the back to Kalen? Okay, maybe we can need a short ball here, Safidi. Oh, not a short ball. We just get dropped. Okay. Uh, we hit. Oh, no. Why is Glasby. Oh, grab the ball, for God's sake. No. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. How do we go from, like, literally not scoring there to nearly conceding a runaway? I can't believe that. That was, like, a guaranteed try. It just wasn't guaranteed. We didn't get it. I feel like once we get that first try, we should be set. I should be able to hold the lead, but just struggling to find that that little bit of attacking spark here. Take it to the line with Piercy. Back in the middle. Okay, lost some fits given. That wasn't really good. That was really shit, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. Back through the middle. Okay, thank you, Connor Watson. Makes a tackle. Okay, we got very lucky there. Very, very lucky. Okay, they put up a... Oh, Jesse Ramian under it again. Why is Ramian under it every time? Every single time. No, Jesse Ramian. Why is he under it? Andrew Clee is our winger. Well, guys, our first real test in a long, long time. The Storm are really giving it to us, and they find themselves up 6-0. Cameron Smith slots the conversion. Oh, I'm not playing good at all. Definitely need to get Callum Ponga more involved in the game. Just need to get him some early ball and just try and see if he can just step somebody. We, we just need a little bit of magic from Kalen. Oh, God. Jerome Hughes just stepping us again. Thankfully, Connor Watson making the tackle. Every other time, I used to run straight past him. I think I finally figured that part out. Just need to stop the line breaks to start off with. Here we go. Into the gap. Into the gap. Heimel, get the pass away. Grab the ball. No, that's a knock-on. That is a knock-on. No, wrong call referee. Wrong call referee. Okay, last play of the first half. Make the tackle. There we go. We've held out to halftime. I can't believe we didn't score earlier. 
And the fact that we go into half time, 6 0 down, absolutely kills me. So you can see the stats here Storm just killing us in completion. 6 from 6 from them, 3 from 6 from us, 3 errors. Line breaks pretty even, but the time of possession is just killing us. Our players are very tired, which is something that doesn't normally happen. At least as of late, hasn't really happened. So we've been making a few more subs than normal, but yeah, Storm just grinded it out. We definitely need to put in an A plus performance in the second half, otherwise, we're no chance. Righto, guys, second half about to be underway. We need a big second half. Oh my god, it's going dead. Oh, no, it's not. That's beautiful. That's a great kickoff. Big hit. Okay, no. Not a big hit. Mitch Barnett and Jesse Bromwich, probably not going to be a big hit. Shit. Shit. Okay. Jerome Hughes is absolutely destroying us. The amount of line breaks he's made himself is just astronomical. Okay, put up a bomb. Connor Watson. Knock it back. Here we go. Put up another bomb. Connor Watson again. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? Wow. <laughs> what a shit kick. Okay, pressure. Cameron Martin, don't let him get the kickoff. He doesn't get the kickoff, but they're going to make a break anyways. Oh my god. They're actually going to make this break. Are they going to score? Please don't. Okay, onto the back. <sighs> I thought we just about to concede and lose the game. Oh, Kurt Mann. Great run. Kurt Mann. Okay, that's a good run. Jerome Hughes just diving at absolutely nothing there. That's great stuff, Jerome. Okay, we've kicked the ball straight down the throat of Vunavalu. I think out of the back three, he's the one I prefer to run it back. Because Jerome, he's been killing us. Josh Adekar's got the speed. He'll probably kill us too. Vunavalu hasn't been that good. Oh my god! Get out of the way! Oh god, Edric Lee. Come on. Make the tackle. Please, please. Okay, made the tackle. Connor Watson done like 73 tackles already. Oh no, Jerome Hughes has just scored. Why the hell is Jerome Hughes so good? What is his rating? Is it like 95? It's got to be. Well, this is not going to plan. We're supposed to win this game. Moving to the top four. Happy days. We can uh, move on now. I'm probably going to get sacked. Oh, he's missed the goal. Suck in Cameron Smith. You suck. Oh my God, again. Every single time he touches the ball, he creates a line break. Okay, 10 minutes to go. 10 points down. I, d I don't see this happening, to be honest. Oh, definitely not happening now. Definitely not happening now. What am I doing? Oh my god. Brody Cross scores. Oh my god. I was just talking about being 10 points down and that being impossible. Now we find ourselves 16 points down. Even more impossible. It has been a long, long time since I've copped a hiding like this on Rebel Glad 4 um, in this career mode. Storm have done it. This has been such a like standard Storm performance. Even on the game, they do it. Kurtman through the middle. Kurtman can't get around Jerome Hughes. Jerome Hughes can do everything. Attack, defense, score tries, save tries, everything. Let's just see. Can we just give it to Pong? I'll just see if he can do anything. Into the gap. Kalen can't get the ball away. Okay. Oh, we get the ball away. Okay. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. 16 0. An absolute flogging. Absolute hiding from Melbourne. Such a classy team. Um, even on the game, they just ran us ragged pretty much. Just. Our players just had no stamina. We couldn't get on the front foot at all. Maybe if we had scored early on, it would have been a different story, but we didn't. You can just see the Storm's completions compared to ours. 13 from 15, and their completions that they stuffed up were at the very end that they threw a few intercepts in like the last five minutes or so when they were 16 nil up. So up until that point, 13 out of 13. And then we were 6 from 11. Just absolutely shocking. Just just terrible. You can see the missed tackles, 19 missed tackles. So all of them on Jerome Hughes. 18 line breaks. They out line break this. Never usually happens. Except for this time, once again, Jerome Hughes, I swear to God, he had like 14 line breaks. Actually, I might check how many line breaks he got. So you can see here, Jerome Hughes, 198 attacking running meters. That is crazy for this game. Karen Smith, 160 as well. Um, where's line breaks? Five line breaks for Jerome Hughes himself. Man, that was total domination from the Storm. That's kind of scary because um, at this point, we were playing pretty good, but Storm had just really humbled us. Now, guys, I'm kind of scared to look at the league table. However, we better take a look at it. How far are we going to fall? Please, not that far. So as you can see, not that much has changed. Obviously, it's only one loss, but the Storm extend their lead in the top four against us. So they're two points ahead now, and their four and against is way better. We're just right bang on zero four and against. So it's not too bad, but it's not great. Actually, it's pretty bad if I'm looking at it compared to the rest of the top four. So we do need to make that up. But yeah, while that loss, it is very annoying. We've still got a lot of rounds to go. I think we can make up a ground, and hopefully we can do it pretty quickly. It's just a shame that we don't find ourselves in the top four, because I thought that's what was going to happen by the end of this episode. Instead, we find ourselves dropping to 7th spot. Well, guys, that episode sucked. A big loss to the Storm, but hopefully we'll bounce back next episode. We're taking on the Broncos, so in theory, that should be an easier game than the Storm, but you never know with how I'm playing. I'm playing absolutely shithouse, but we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, if you did happen to enjoy this video, regardless of the result, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT. My Facebook page is also in the description below. It's Mr. Luke, same as what's on the screen. 
Just search it up, should come up. Also, I'll be on Snapchat as well, Mr. Luke and White T. Same as my Twitter and Instagram, what's already on the screen. So go ahead and add me on that. Anyway, guys, that's all I gotta say. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.